What's up YouTube, it's Jackal Gold Kick, and you know what? Sometimes friends gotta do what friends gotta do and stand up for one another. Because in this world, when you have people that, you know, hate you for no reason or make up shit about you or, you know, just treat you like trash, you know, you gotta have your friends or people that care about you. And uh, this video is gonna be about the Flame 97 basically standing up for the flame of 97 because i have had it up to here with all the shit this guy gets i've fucking had it and any of you cocksuckers out there any of you motherfuckers out there that give the flame 97 shit i dare you to give me shit i dare you to come at me because if you're gonna if you want to fuck with the flame 97 you're gonna have to go through me all right you're gonna have to fucking go through me before you get to him you're gonna have to fucking kill me before you get to the motherfucking before you get to the flame 97 you're gonna have to get through me you're gonna have to get through any mr beef i'll make on your punk ass i am so sick and tired of the shit that the flame 97 gets it, it sickens me it, it absolutely sickens me now i'm not acting like some shocked person like oh my god i can't believe bullying exists i can't believe that there's haters out there no but what i'm trying to say in this video is that okay let me you know try to explain things so I've known about the Flame 97 since I believe like, I want to say 2018, 2017, somewhere around there. That's when he found my channel. And we've always been cool. We had a small little beef. It was, you know, we had a beef for a stupid reason. Uh, looking back, I don't know why I beef with him. It was very dumb. But we're really cool. We've done collabs together. He's been nothing but nice to me. He's been nothing but a good friend to me and me to him as well. He makes good videos. He's a good guy. He, me and him agree on a lot of the same things. And he's a genuinely nice guy. And all of the shit over the years that I've seen the Flame 97 get, I'm, I've had it. And I'm going to stand up and fucking say something. I wish I could punch all you motherfuckers in the face for all the shit you give the Flame Head 97. You remember when Tom Cruise and Tropic Thunder said, I want you to go over there and punch that motherfucker in the face. Punch him real hard in his fucking face. However he said it, that's what I wish I could do to you cocksuckers that mess with the Flame 97. Now let me try to give some context for what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a multitude of things. You got that idiot troll Seth Trollins, you know, that was trolling Flamehead for a long time. I think making like certain videos on him, trying to make fun of him bringing up his dead dad, I think even pretending to be his dead dad, and just fucking with the Flame 97 consistently. That guy's a piece of shit. Fuck a Seth Trollins. Fuck you, motherfucker. If you want to go to the Flame, you're going to have to get through me, bitch. So you got that motherfucker. And then you got this pink-eyed douchebag piece of trash recently that tried to accuse the Flame 97 of being a pedophile. Well, fuck you, motherfucker. Your fucking young ass shouldn't even be on the internet, bitch. Your daddy or mommy need to take your fucking internet away from you, cocksucker. You shouldn't even be on the fucking internet. Accusing the Flame N97 of being a pedophile. Fuck you, motherfucker. You know, I don't give a shit if Pink Hyde watched my streams or maybe we were cool. You fucking accuse one of my... You, you accuse one of my friends of being a pedophile with no proof. Because you tried to say, oh, the Flame N97, he's a pedophile um, because he was talking to a minor. Like, something happened where the Flame had added pink hide on facebook or some something like that bud ding langley his name and uh basically what happened is he interacted with him and then one of pink hide's parents got an account and says don't talk to my underage kid or this and that you pedophile and flamehead didn't even do anything predatory you know and this is the problem with the this this pedophile uh culture we live in nowadays what do i mean by that We've gotten to a point with this pedophile culture where people will just throw that word around like it don't even mean anything anymore. You see, a pedophile is a grown person who tries to have sex with kids, who tries to meet up with kids. You know, motherfuckers you see on Chris Hansen shows. That's what a pedophile is. A pedophile is not, oh, the guy online in a YouTube video has a minor in the stream. Oh, he's interacting with a minor in the messenger fucking chat. Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio is dating a woman who's 20, but he's 25. Isn't that creepy? Oh, Marilyn Manson did something with Epper Rachel Wood when she was 18. He's in his 40s. Shut the fuck up. None of that is pedophilia, you stupid motherfuckers. All right? There are pedophiles out there there is pedophilia out there 
but a lot of you cocksuckers out there, you have twisted this pedophile narrative where you've made things that aren't even pedophilia, you've tried to make them pedophilia. Fuck you for that, seriously. Uh, so the, the Flamehead 97 being accused of being a pedophile is complete bullshit because there's no proof that he did anything remotely pedophilia. He just interacted with someone who happened to be a minor that watched his channel. That's what. That's all that happened. And guess what? I interacted with someone. I interacted with two people multiple times that were minors that watched my channel. Shane Webb and Ariana Moonlight. In live streams, responding to the comments or replying to a comment. Or sending a message. Tech. I didn't even send voice messages to Shane Webb. I sent messages to him. There was never anything predatory going on there. There was never me trying to do anything weird with him. They just happened to watch my channel. I know some people. Oh, you know, should a minors watch adult YouTubers and this and that? Hey, I can't control watches my channel. None of us can control who watches our YouTube videos. But honestly, I don't care. I don't care who watches my videos. You know, because you know, some of you motherfuckers are just straight up hypocrites. Because you want to sit there and try to act innocent and say, you know, minors shouldn't be watching these YouTubers and they shouldn't be playing GTA 5. Shut the fuck up because you were doing that shit when you were younger. Because I was doing that shit when I was younger, motherfucker. When I was a kid, I was playing GTA San Andreas. I was playing Resident Evil 4. I was listening to fucking Eminem. Some of you people need to go off your fucking high horse, man. So, yeah. If, if you're going to call Flamehead a pedophile for interacting with a minor when nothing predatory happened and Pink Kai just happened to be a viewer of his channel, that is so stupid. That would be like saying John Cena's a pedophile because he visited underage fans at the hospital that had cancer. That's literally the same argument, basically. You know? Like I said, I have some viewers that happen to be younger. But there's never anything predatory. I'm not sick like that. If I was a pedophile and if I was sick like that, I'd be live. I'd, I'd still be living with my dad. Let's let's put it that way. You know, you think you. I would not have felt uncomfortable or weird around him if I was really, really a pedophile. You know, this pedophile shit is getting ridiculous, man. So, I'm just tired of the shit the Flame 97 gets. From Seth Trollins fucking with him, trolling him, the whole dead dad thing. From this pink eyed piece of shit trying to accuse him of being a pedophile when he's not. And then another thing that's even worse that really I feel like affects Flamehead's mental health is this guy, I won't name any names, but this guy lives at a house with other people. And these other people that he lived these other people that he lives with, they pretty much bully him and treat him like shit on a consistent basis. And it's just so fucked up because he doesn't deserve it. He doesn't fucking deserve it. And you you combine a guy that lives at a house, you know, Flame 97, Bud Langley, a good guy, you know, an honest good guy, you know. He gets fucked with and bullied at home, and then he has to come on YouTube online to also get messed with by pieces of shit like Seth Trollins or an idiot like Pink Hyde or maybe there's even more i forgot to mention fucking zach g's bitch ass he'll flip-flop constantly one minute zach g's cool then he's not cool then he's cool then he's not cool he flip-flops more than a fish flops in the fucking water when there's no fucking water whatever you could say so he also had zach g harassing his ass zach g will constantly one minute be cool with flamehead then he's not cool with him so it's just like flamehead's dealing with so much shit and i don't even understand it because he's such a good guy you know like, look, it's one thing to dislike a YouTuber, all right? It's one thing to dislike an artist. You know, there's plenty of artists I don't like. There's plenty of YouTubers I don't like. For example, I don't like Moist Critical. I'm not a fan of that YouTuber. He's not my type of YouTuber. But I'm not making videos bashing him or bullying him or going after him or putting him down. Like, why the fuck would I do that? That's terrible. So, Flamehead97 gets treated like shit at home consistently and bullied. Plus, accused of being a pedophile in line with Pink Hyde. Plus getting fucked with by Zach G and his bitch ass flip flopping on him. Plus, Seth Trollins fucking with him. Plus, some other shit I want to mention, where sometimes he'll post a weed video and some people will be like, you shouldn't smoke weed, it's bad for you, this, this, and that. It's like, shut the fuck up, man. If the guy wants to smoke weed, let him fucking smoke weed, all right? Judgmental cocksuckers. You know, it's like, I, I don't, I just, I don't understand these people, man. It's fucking stupid. You got that shit. And then, okay, with this next section, I'm not disrespecting these people because they are viewers of my channel and I don't 
I don't necessarily think they disrespected Flamehead, but they were kind of wrong about him. Um, Damian Guerrera and Max Palmer. I'm cool with them. I appreciate their support. You know, no hate to them, no disrespect to them. But the things you two said about Flamehead wasn't right. You said that you guys said that you stopped watching him because he does mostly does negative videos or he does more negative videos than positive videos or you know something like that which isn't true there's videos flamehead has done that's positive it's just the negative videos that get the most attention you know that's the truth of it negative videos always get the most attention you look at my channel you look at spear dude's channel you look at uh you know flamehead's channel you look at a lot of people's channel the negative stuff always gets the most views and always gets the most attention but in reality flamehead's made plenty of content that isn't just ranting in fact flamehead himself has said before that he hate, like i remember one point he said that man i hate the fact that you know i do a rant video or do something negative that's the only thing people watch anything else to do people don't watch so you know max palmer and damien if i'm saying your guys names right I don't think it's fair for you to say that I don't like Flamehead or don't want to watch him anymore because he just does negative videos or only does negative videos. That's not true. He doesn't just only do negative videos, you know. That's not true. I forgot the other stuff you said. No hate to you guys, but just some criticism. But it's just a combination of all of these things. It's like a whole bunch of shit just being piled on one person. And I've had it, man. That's why I'm stepping in the fucking ring and standing up for him. Jackal Gold Kick himself, 10-year veteran. Fucking Mr. Beef himself, because I'm good friends with the Flamehead 97. I made plenty of collab videos with him. I like his content. I've talked to him for years. He supports my channel. He's an honest, good guy, and he deserve he doesn't deserve anything that he fucking gets in terms of the hate and all the bullshit he goes through, from getting treated like shit at home, you know, from all the crap online, you know. Like I said, he gets messed with and bullied consistently in real life and you combine that with the pedophile allegations from pink hide online and combine that with seth trollins messing with him and the fucking dead dad thing which is fucked up he's a piece of shit for that because you know that's a dead relative what the fuck's wrong with you you combine that with the other stuff and then you combine the zach g crap and him constantly harassing flamehead and flip flopping like a damn fish with no damn water that guy can't make up his fucking mind you can, and anyone else that offends Zach G, you can use the autism excuse all you want. I knew somebody in real life that had way higher level of autism than Zach G, and he didn't flip flop. So don't try to use that fucking excuse if you're going to offend Zach G. I've been around people who are autistic, all right? And they had higher levels of autism than Zach G, and they weren't flip floppers. So you can't use that bullshit excuse if you're someone that's going to defend Zach G. I don't care about that guy anymore, but I'm only missing him for the context of this video. So you got the Zach G shit. You got the, you know, Seth Tron shit, the pink eyed stuff, him getting treated like shit at home, a combination of all those things, you know, and then a little bit like, like I'm not disrespecting Damien or Max Palmer, but, you know, he deals with all that stuff, plus seeing people that were viewers of his no longer cool with him for reasons that aren't even true, and, you know, that's, I've seen it, it's had a negative effect on the Flame of 97, it's had a bad effect on his mental health, a bad effect, you know, on him. And I'm sick and tired of this shit. And that's why I wanted to make this video. I'm standing up for the Flamehead 97, aka Bud Langley. I'm standing up for him because I'm sick of this bullshit, man. I am tired of this fucking bullshit that he goes through. I'm sick of it, man. Fuck anybody that has an issue with him. Fuck anybody that gives him shit. Including the people that bully him at home. Including Pink Hyde. Including Seth Trollins. Including Zach G. Including, uh, you know any other bullshit he gets, fuck anybody that gives him shit and has issues with him. Fuck all you motherfuckers. You want you want a problem with him, you create a problem with me. You want to get to the Flame 97, you're going to have to go through me because I am sick and tired of seeing a good YouTuber and a genuine good guy and a good friend has been nothing but nice to me and we've had good conversations and he's nothing but a just genuine good guy get treated like complete shit and doesn't fucking deserve it. I'm tired of this bullshit, man. Fuck all you cocksuckers that want to fuck with the Flame 97 as if he's Satan himself or as if he's a terrible person. I'm sick of this crap, man. I am sick of this crap. And the Flame 97. But yeah, if the Flame 97 is watching this, I just want to say, man, regardless of all the crap that you deal with online in real life, 
and all these people that give you shit. Just remember that the truth of the matter is that you're a good person, you're a good YouTuber, you make good videos, you're a good guy, you're a genuine good guy. And fuck what they think and fuck what they do to you. They're all just insecure pieces of shit and they're all just low human scum and criminal scum that deserve to get locked up in a prison. Like Oblivion, you know, this, the fucking guards from Oblivion when they say, stop right there, criminal scum. Those motherfuckers need to go on to people that mess with the Flame 97. Just remember Flame 97, aka Bud Dean Langley. Regardless of the shit you get, you're a good guy, you're a good YouTuber, you make good videos, and you're a good friend, and you're a genuine good person, you know? You know, I know we all go through trials and tribulations, and we have good and bad days. You know, I've seen Flame had have good and bad days, and sometimes talk about killing himself. I've had suicide thoughts myself. But I just felt like it was important for me to make this video because, you know, I've just, I've just had it. And, you know, I'm good friends with the Flame 97, and I'm cool with them. And I'm just, I'm tired of seeing it, you know. I don't, I don't like seeing someone get bullied like this and get fucked with. I, I ain't gonna stand for it. Um, so... You know, I'm like Kyle Ren from Dynasty Warriors with the shield. You can't break my fucking wall. You can't break my armor. You can't get through me. You think you can get through me if you're going to get to Flame 97? You got a better chance of winning the lottery than fucking getting through me to get to the Flame 97 because you ain't going to get through me. I'm going to make a Mr. Beef on your bitch ass, all right? You're going to have to go through me to ever even get to the Flame 97, you know? <laughs> if I knew Flame 97 in real life, I'd definitely be hanging out with him, man, because he's a good dude, you know? Um... And plenty of people can vouch for that. Scorpion Death Drop, you know, Spirit of 21, um, you know, uh, what's his name? J-Dog, you know, plenty of people, you know. Look, if you don't like the Flame 97's content, that's one thing. But all this bullying and fucking with them and allegations and all this shit, it's uncalled for. And you're pieces of shit for it. Because the Flame 97 is genuinely a good guy, makes good videos, he's a good YouTuber, and that's the truth. It's been nothing but good to me. It's been nothing but good to other people. And I also hope this video gives the Flame 97 some hope. It makes him feel better and gives him some faith. And hopefully it makes him, you know, get through the bullshit in life. Because everyone needs help. You know, friends gotta stand up for friends. You know, this is this is some real shit, you know. And just to really prove that this is some real shit, I ain't monetizing this and there ain't no thumbnail for this. This is, I don't care about a thumbnail, I don't care about some goddamn monetization, fuck all that shit. This is about defending someone who's a good friend of mine, you know, fuck monetization and thumbnail, we're keeping this raw, because the point of this video is what I basically did, standing up for the Flame 97. Sorry if I repeated myself a lot, I have OCD, I have a tendency to do that, and I don't got time to edit my own videos unless someone wants to edit my videos for free, you're gonna have to deal with that on my channel, unless I forget to not repeat myself. I can't edit my own videos because I'm trying to get away from an addiction of mine and isolation is a huge trigger. So I can't, I can't edit my videos. I can't, you know, it's impossible. So yeah, this is my video standing up for the Flame 97. And uh, yeah, that's everything I had to say in this video. You know, it's one thing to dislike someone if they're a rapper or YouTuber, you just don't like their content, whatever. But to bully them and make up shit, no, that's some bullshit, straight the fuck up, but yeah, this is my video standing up for the Flame 97, um, I'm out, aka Bud Dean Langley, peace, and uh, you know, to Bud Dean Langley, Flame 97, keep your head up man, don't ever give up on life, don't ever kill yourself, don't let these evil people, these pieces of shit that hate you so much, don't let them win, don't let them, uh, push you over the edge to, you know, take yourself out or whatever. You know, just remember everything I said earlier about the positives of you. That's all I got to say in this video. Peace.